Clove essential oil is anti-aging, it's anti-tumoral, it's antimicrobial, it's antifungal, antiviral, analgesic, it's an anesthetic, it's a powerful, powerful antioxidant, it's an anticoagulant, it's anti-inflammatory, it's a stomach protectant, it's good for ulcers, it's anti-parasitic, so it's good for worms, it's an anti-convulsant. Its uses are for anti-aging, cardiovascular disease, arthritis, rheumatism, hepatitis, intestinal parasites, infections, uh, numbing all types of pain, throat, sinus, lung infections, cataracts, ulcers, lice, toothache, acne. Guys, it's a mental stimulant. It encourages sleep, it stimulates dreams, and it creates a sense of protection and courage. It's energetically, mentally, and emotionally stimulating. Clove is said to promote healthy boundaries, helping a person feel empowered and encouraged to stand strong and break patterns of being victimized by creating, honoring their needs, and speaking for themselves. It may also help a person struggling with codependency or those who find themselves too dominating or crossing the boundaries of others by also learning to stand independent of others. Along these lines, it might also help a person to not care much about what others think and to learn to love and accept themselves for the divine being that they are. Uh, guys, let me let me tell you how Clove helped me one time. Uh, this was a few years back before I had detoxified my body, and I had a toothache, a really, really bad toothache, and uh, I, I thought I was going to have to go to the dentist, but I had, I had had some really, really good results with using essential oils in the past, so I decided to use the clove. I researched the clove and found that it, it used to be used at, uh, on, teeth, uh, on teeth for its analgesic and antiseptic qualities. It's antibacterial, antimicrobial. Clove does it all, guys. So I put a drop of the clove directly onto the toothache because I think I had the, the beginning of a cavity forming. And not only did the pain subside rapidly, but the infection or whatever was going on inside the tooth went away, guys. And I only used the clove a couple of days. So I'm a big, big advocate of the clove, guys. Its auric value is off the charts. It is off the charts. It resonates in such fierce, fierce vibrations. It's loaded, loaded with, with something called eugenol, which is between... It, in most oils, the eugenol content is around 50%. But in the really, really good brands, like the Young Living brand, it's between 75 and 87%. Uh, the Young Living brand also has the eugenol acetate between 8 and 15%, and something called beta carophyllin, which is between 2 and 7%. Its auric value in this one particular brand is is 1% million seventy eight thousand seven hundred this is very very high guys uh, it's it's eugenol is is clove principal constituent it was used in the dental industry for years to numb the gums. Uh, the people on the island of Ternate were free from epidemics until the 16th century when Dutch conquerors destroyed the clove tree that flourished on the islands. Many of the islanders dried, uh, died from the epidemics that followed. Cloves were reputed to be part of the uh, Four Thieves Vinegar Blend that we spoke that I spoke about in my cinnamon video. Uh, clove was listed in Hildegard's Medicine. Uh, it, it, healers in China and India have used clove buds since ancient times as part of their treatments. Uh, very, very divine healing. Uh, it, 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 it is strong. It's a strong anticoagulant. So properties of this may, in fact, interact with blood, uh, with blood pressure medications and blood thinning medications, specifically warfarin and aspirin, guys. So use caution with divine, sacred, essential oils. Uh, let's get right into some of the benefits and how the, how we can use the how we can use the clove essential oil. Um, clove is a hot oil, guys. It's just like cinnamon. Refer back to my cinnamon video because it it resonates much much like the cinnamon because they both contain the eugenol. Uh, but it is hot. It's an oil that has to be diluted. You meaning you cannot put it on the skin neat, uh, undiluted. It cannot be applied neat. P apply it in a base of coconut raw virgin coconut. oil. Oil, organic, of course. 
Uh, it's very good for addictions. Clove is good for uh, tobacco addictions, alcohol with addictions. Add a drop of clove essential oil to the very tip part of your tongue. Uh, dilute it with raw coconut oil if you need to because it is strong. And black pepper is very good for this too. And then put that tip of your tongue right on the roof of your mouth. Guys, I'm telling you, this really, really will hurt, hurt, help to curb some of these addictions that we have to some of these unnatural substances. Uh, for athlete's foot, uh, dilute and add one to two drops uh, to the area of concern one to two di times a day. Also, consider using oregano for this or melaleuca or a blend like the Thieves, very, very good for athlete's foot. Um, for its antioxidant boosting effects, uh, consider adding one to two drops into a veggie capsule once a day. Um, and, and once or twice a day and take this just as an overall antioxidant immune booster. Um, for uh, boundaries diffuse throughout the room or dilute and massage over the area of your heart. Guys, I'm diffusing it right now along with cinnamon, lang lang, helichrysum, frankincense, myrrh, and vanilla. And it, I call that blend ecstasy, baby, because it smells quite harmonious. Clove is a, clove is a very sacred oil to me. I love, love the way that it smells and it blends so well with lang lang and vanilla vanilla specifically and cinnamon. Uh, that blend that I just told you, try mixing that sometime and diffusing it and apply that topically too. Um, start with the coconut oil and lather yourself all up with the coconut oil and then apply a few drops of that blend that I just told you, that ecstasy blend. Guys, it's going to raise your vibrations. I'm telling you, there's not much that the clove doesn't do. For candida, add a, f add a few drops into a veggie capsule and take internally each day for one to two weeks. Um, this can also be massaged into the feet. I recommend you massaging it into your feet every night and along your spine every night. A blend like the Thieves that I spoke about in my cinnamon video. And this is going to help to eliminate the pathogens that like to harbor around our spinal cord. This is going to help to eliminate the candida issue that we've got going on within our body. Um, for cataracts, massage one to two drops, diluted drops of clove essential oil into the reflex points of the feet and the toes. For codependency, inhale directly from the bottle. Uh, diffuse during journaling or meditating or consider using topically daily as, you, as you're working through whatever the challenge is that you're working through. For control issues, just diffuse it. Uh, massage it into your feet and your hands and onto your chest every day. For corns, dilute one drop of clove essential oil with several drops of carrier oil to the affected area one to three times a day. For courage, diffuse throughout the room or inhale from the body as desired. Guys, I'll tell you what you need to do for courage. Go ahead and apply some of this to your feet uh, and to your chest and then take your hands and cup your hands together and put your hands over your nose and, and your mouth and inhale this deeply in through your nose and out through your mouth. And as you're doing this, completely let go. Guys, we need to surrender to the clove because the clove is going to take care of us. It really really will. This is how powerful, in my opinion, the clove essential oil is. It's going to boost your confidence, it's going to boost your self-esteem, and it's going to allow you to relax to where you can just simply let go. I use it every day, guys. And you know, I think since I've started using it and I've started detoxing, guys, I really don't care what anybody else thinks about me. I really don't. We should not be so concerned about what the world thinks of us. Uh, we should let our light shine and we should just do our own thing. Now, let me, let me get into some more. Uh, for digestive issues, guys, massage this over your stomach and your abdomen. Uh, let me let me let me go to another uh, book here. Give me just a second. Uh, although it has been uh, suspected for centuries to treat inflammatory conditions, the Journal of Immunotoxicology just recently published the first ever study proving that eugenol in clove is indeed a powerful anti-inflammatory. One of the most powerful, guys. It's going to reduce the... What is sickness a result of? Inflammation. We've all got inflammation. We've got candida bodies. We've got fire bodies. And how do we decrease that? Well, you detoxify the liver. You restore the alkalinity within the body, the good 
bifidobacteria in the gut, and the clove is one of those that's going to get you there fast, guys. Uh, it show, th this, this study showing that low doses of eugenol can protect the liver against disease, it was also observed that eugenol reverses inflammation and cellular oxidation, which causes aging. Guys, clove is an anti-aging oil. It was also observed that taking large doses internally could harm the digestive lining and externally can irritate sensitive skin. This is why we need to dilute it and we need to be using a carrier oil with it. My favorite carrier oil in the whole wide world is the black cumin seed oil, uh, but next to that is probably the coconut oil. I use the coconut oil all the time because it's antimicrobial and antibacterial within its own right. In addition to being proven anti-inflammatory, clove is commonly used as an anti for oral infections and as a broad spectrum antimicrobial to keep countless diseases at bay. Um, very, very good for acne uh, to, and skin conditions. Uh, the, uh, to evaluate the, the effectiveness of an antibacterial agent, researchers from the University of Buenos Aires set out to determine the bacteria which bacteria are most sensitive to clove's potency. According to their study, clove has the greatest antimicrobial ability over E. coli and also exerted considerable control over staph, which causes a acne, uh, and it also causes pneumonia. Uh, as a natural remedy to eliminate acne, take two or three drops of clove oil and mix with two tablespoons of honey Mix this together and wash your face with this, and you can also include some tea tree in that if you want to for cases of real bad acne. And then after you're done with that, apply some coconut oil to your skin. Guys, don't ever put the clove on your skin neat. It's going to desensitize and it will burn your skin. And you need to use a carrier oil. Um, for uh, candida, one of the most powerful applications of clove is to fight candida. Uh, published in the jour Journal of Oral Micro Microbiology and Immunology, a study was conducted to see how it fared against other antifungal treatments and observed that clove was effective, was as effective against uh, nystatin, which is a drug commonly prescribed to manage yeast infections of the mouth, including thrush. Uh, in, a, in addition, guys, the clove doesn't have these nasty side effects that these toxic prescriptions do. Also, in addition to eliminating candida, clove essential oil is effective at killing intestinal parasites. It's an effective treatment for short-term parasite cleanse. To do a candida cleanse, you can take clove oil internally for two weeks. But, guys, I recommend you being under the advise, advisement of a natural health care practitioner if, if you're wanting to take a lot of the essential oils internally if you take prescription medications. Guys, we need to learn how oils harmonize with our own personal vibrations before we want to start using mass, mass quantities of them. I What I recommend if you really want to start to age the body. Um, start a basic juice program. Start a basic healthy lifestyle, guys, and start to incorporate more live, fresh enzymes in, in, in into your daily lives because uh, our bodies are electric. It's the, the trillion of cells are fueled off of live enzymes. So if you will detoxify the liver and restore the intestinal flora and alkalize the body, oils then at this point work on a whole nother level. O Clove is an anti-aging oil, so it's one that really, really can reverse a lot of the damage that we've got going on within our body. I love to combine it with the cinnamon, and I just shot my cinnamon video, so go back and watch that long. It's a two-part video, but but you can use clove but basically the exact same ways that you can use the cinnamon, and you can combine the two together to create some pretty fierce harmony within the body rapidly. Um, so for toothaches, guys, put it directly onto the tooth. It does not have to be diluted. It's going to numb the area. Use caution with it. Try not to uh, try not to get any on your skin as you're doing this. But you can put a drop directly onto the tooth. Uh, allow your mouth to stay open for as long as you can, and just breathe and just relax, guys. Clove is an oil that you want to completely relax and surrender to it. Completely let go to the clove oil because it's going to take care of you. But for a toothache, put it right on the toothache. Let it. Saturate the area for as long as you can sit there and breathe before you before you consume anything to drink, and then follow this by a juice. A juice the basic juice blend, which is apple, carrot, lemon, ginger, beet. Uh, let me let me re read for you a few uh, additional studies. 
Um, history tells us that clove oil was one of the main essential oils that protected people from getting the bu bubonic plague in Europe. Um, that was when the group of robbers were caught by the king and they asked them why they weren't ill or dead and this is the the story of the of the four th the, the the four thieves blend uh this is how this uh, an essential oil blend like this came to to be guys is because these grave robbers uh and these uh, robbers of dead bodies were uh they were protecting themselves from a blend with that that contained clove it contains cinnamon, it contains rosemary, lemon, eucalyptus, guys. That blend right there will do it if you've got any kind of infection or illness. And it's going to kind of act as a barrier for your body to where you don't get inflicted with all this craziness. Uh, I love it. I love clove for everything. It's going gonna, it's gonna to rock your world with what it can do for you. We can also learn to make clove essential oil ourselves. Uh, stay tuned for this because I'm going to do a follow-up video for this uh, where we can make it ourselves. Um, it also helps support metabolism. Uh, clove butt oil can, can also help relieve stress and help lessen mental exhaust, exhaustion. Uh, some of some use it to tackle uh, neural health problems such as depression and anxiety. The oil also works as an aphrodisiac and a treatment for insomnia. Eugenol also causes clove oil to have very stimulating and warming properties, which makes it very very popular amongst most aromatherapists. Uh, part. Part of its list of benefits is its ability to stimulate your metabolism by helping improve your blood circulation and lowering your body temperature. It can also contribute to your digestive health and address problems such as hiccups, digestion, indigestion, motion sickness, and excessive gas. Guys, it's also an insect repellent like the cinnamon, basil, nutmeg. Those all contain the eugenol. Uh, so it's going to naturally repel insects away from your body. Uh, I love it. I love I love it for, for everything. I find it very, very beneficial. Now for pain relieving guys, what you want to do is put it in a put it in a carrier oil and just apply it to the area where you're having pain. If you've got a knee ache, uh, combine the clove with some black pepper, some wintergreen, and put that right on your knee. It's going to take care of that pain right away. I'm telling you, it really will. Uh, and when you come, but let me let me give, also give you another little helpful tip. Try combining the clove with some frankincense, myrrh, and helichrysum sometime. Man, that blend right there will rock your world with vibrations. What? Anytime you can combine anything with frankincense and myrrh, you're increasing the overall vibration of the oil. So I love to combine all the oils with frankincense and myrrh. But it's a powerful, powerful pain relieving. Now, also for uh, uh, for a toothache or gum pain, you can put a, a, the clove oil onto a small organic cotton ball, and you can put this right in the gum area next to the tooth. Uh, you can put two or three drops of the clove bud oil plant in in a diffuser, and this can uh, keep insects at bay. Um, you can, for digestion issues, guys, massage this right into your abdomen, and it's really going to help lessen gas, bloating, upset stomach, diarrhea. Uh, you can also put two, three to five drops in lukewarm bath water to help address bowel issues. But, guys, I want to I want to recommend using caution with this. Learn how oils resonate first before you start dropping them in the bath water, because a lot of times the oil and water don't mix. So a lot of times these oils will sit on the surface of the skin. And then if you get this on your face or your skin, just a single drop of this, it's gonna it's gonna hurt your it's gonna burn your skin. So use caution if you're wanting to bathe with it. I usually combine it in a in a shave in a black soap uh, African black soap mixture, and I put a few essential oils in there, and then I I'll let it set up really good in the bathtub, and then I soak in some of these divine oils. And man, I'm telling you, very very relaxing, very relaxing. Uh, if but if you're just starting to use essential oils, always do a patch test on the inside of your arm. Check it for 24 hours because many, many of the divine oils that are sold at health food stores, they are not natural. 
they're synthesized and these can actually harm our body. Clove is so fierce, guys. A lot of people think that they react negatively when they take the clove and they, they tell me they're allergic to it. And I find what the case is, is that their body's toxic. We shouldn't be allergic to these divine organic things. So if this is the case for you with the clove oil and you react after you put it on the inside of your arm and you la allow it to sit for 24 hours uh, and there's a breakout or a negative reaction, I'm going to tell you, you've probably got toxins stored up under the dermal layer of your skin. And what you need to do is you need to detoxify your liver using the beet. The beet will help to dump the toxins from the liver and, and the oils like black cumin seed is going to also additionally help to alkalize and eliminate the candida state and dump toxins from the liver. So, so do that first and then go back to the clove. Guys, clove is going to raise your vibrations. Have a great day. Thanks for listening to me. Peace, love, and positive vibrations.